Hello everybody! Today we're going to be doing shoe DIYs. Here's a red pair of sandals and these are just little pieces I got at, our, at a vintage fair for like a dollar. And so I'm going to choose out a couple numbers and I'm going to put them on the sides of the shoes because I think that would be a nice little detail. Maybe for summer or something. I don't know, I just thought they'd be cute. So I picked seven and three of hearts and then I picked eight and ten in diamonds both red to match the shoes but yeah so i just turned my hot glue gun on i'm gonna let it heat up for a little while and i'm gonna tape back the ends of it so that i can easily put on the the little game pieces without having too many complications and i'm just using basic washi tape that i found next to me you can also use tape, duct tape, whatever. So now a little bit of hot glue and attach them right onto the ankle of the shoe. And then flip over the shoe and do it to the same, to the other side. I'm gonna finish up these two shoes and I will come back when I'm done. All right, so now both of the pieces are glued on. Now just take off the tape and you have really cute sandals. Woohoo! Alright, so these second pair of shoes are just cute little slip-ons. And for this, I sketched out two little ideas, which are both my dogs, and I decided I would just paint one on one shoe, one on the other. So you're gonna need a pencil, paper, your shoes, a Sharpie, and acrylic paint to whatever color you need. So I started by sketching out the designs on the shoes. You have to dig your pencil into the shoes pretty far because they, um, they don't show up otherwise. I found that out through experience. Especially to get them to show up on camera, I had to really go over the lines a couple times. But you'll paint over them anyway, so if you can freehand it, then you go, girl. Or boy. <laughs> so now I'm just deepening up the lines, so when I sharpie, I don't accidentally sharpie the wrong line. And erasing these pencil marks aren't that easy, so hopefully you guys won't have to. So now I'm just gonna take a Sharpie and go over the lines, as simple as that. And I'll get back to you guys when I'm done sharpening the lines. All right, now that I've finished sharpening, I'm gonna go in with paint. I'm first working on my dog named Henry, and he has kind of a golden copper color. So I started with golden paint and He's got little white tips on his nose and his forehead, and it's really cute. And I put them on the ears just so they're a little bit more prominent. So now I went in and add a little glisten dot in his eyes, just to add a little more character and also on the nose. Next is my dog Romeo and he has brown, black, and white fur. He has a beagle. And so I just went in and painted all three colors on the ears and put white glistening dots on his eyes and nose because I feel like that makes them look like they have more character. And then in the very back of the shoe at the heel, I painted a little tail in the color, which they have, if that makes any sense. Um, but you can't really see them. I tried to get them in the camera shot, but it was kind of an awkward angle to show the heel. And I'll see you guys when we're done.
guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i know it's a little bit of rush i'm not put together to my best work but i really hope you guys enjoyed this voiceover was kind of freehand and so i had to kind of you know i say um and kind of a lot so i am very sorry but yeah i really love the two shoes i have put together and see y'all next time bye